time. Stablemate Jaguar couldn't resist the opportunity to show off the XKR's convertible in typical Hollywood style. And the company also teased the world with another look at the CX-16, a hybrid sports car. Infinity has made it official. The JX Luxury crossover will come to market and it will be built in Tennessee, a first for the brand. Hyundai, which has been on a winning streak, rolled out a redesigned upscale sedan, the Azera. That brings it closer to the corporate design language used in their other cars. Volkswagen announced changes to the CC sedan, but really used the opportunity as a platform to accept the Motor Trend Car of the Year award for the U.S. built Passat. Volkswagen, who helped make the Passat the 2012 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Ford premiered the redesigned Escape that looks a lot like its big brother, the Explorer. This will have two four-cylinder engine options, including an EcoBoost model. But at least for now, say goodbye to the hybrid powertrain. Fiat literally came out of the box with the Abarth version of the 500 with tweaked engine, fancy graphics, upgraded wheels and brakes for those who want performance in their very little cars. Lincoln is touting the upgrade it has made to the flagship MKS sedan and the MKT crossover, which will also be marketed to the limousine industry with a stretched version available. And Kia teased the faithful with a look at the GT concept. At this point, it's more of an exercise in design than a real product. Thank you. This is Greg Morris. Um, we want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.